bounce with me. Help yourself to everything you've always wanted. Your body's the best. <laughs> Hello! What's up? Hello! I look awful. Shut I look up. disgusting. I look. Hello, how are you? Yeah, how are you? What is up? up? Welcome. Welcome, Ricky. Okay. Yeah, I literally felt like paparazzi outside of the people. Like. Oh! Move it, got my heart rate bouncing. Hi, home. It is a mess. No, it's not. But welcome. Welcome home. Yeah. This place is so cute. Is your room a mess? <laughs> Uh, I, want see, I want to see your room. I want to see your room. My room got worse. I mean, if you want to look in there and just... No, show me around. I want to okay. see it. I want to see it. Well, I just recently came back from a trip, and now I'm packing for another trip, so... <laughs> like, it doesn't usually look like this. It's usually clean, but, you know... <laughs> Damn! Like, it's just a mess. <laughs> like... Suitcase open, <laughs> bags everywhere, just boxes everywhere, you know? <laughs> trying to fix it, but... It's a big... Wait, when did you move in here? I moved here... I moved here. End of May. May. So yeah, end of yeah. May, and I'm staying in LA forever, so... I can't help my mind right now, it's... The beautiful... I love it. Oh, it's so cute! It's my baby. I love it so much. You got it from Thousand Oaks? Yeah. That's where I live. Really? Yeah. Far away. Yeah, I do. Ooh, ah. Oh, this is nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, so when did you... You didn't start with YouTube, right? No, I didn't. I thought it was Vine. With Vine? Yeah. I thought it was Vine, and you know, hey, the rest is history. And then when did you start YouTube? Uh, like, is that something you wanted to do like before Vine or like? Well, yeah, I actually did have a YouTube channel like when I was like nine, relevant. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I did YouTube for like what a year, and then I decided to go to Vine because people were like, "Hey, you're hilarious. You need to go on Vine. This app is blowing up." So I was like, "Okay." And then yeah, ever since then I've been doing it. So. I started YouTube uh, maybe a year after my. All done? That is a wrap. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Those your Jamaican braids. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's the hair. <laughs> no way. You gotta get your weave. Oh my God, it's actually your hair. That's the weave. Ricky, do you love your life? I love my life. I love it. Do I mean, who would it? You know? <laughs> I like love my life. I love all my friends. I'm just so happy. Did you did you like ever see yourself moving to LA at this age no. by yourself? No, not at all. Like I knew I was gonna move to LA, but I never, never, never in a million years thought that I was going to move this soon and this young. So you miss life back at home somehow? Oh god, no. Ugh. You don't <laughs> I kind of threw up. Ew. <laughs> Life back home was literally boring. Why? Well, it was just boring. It was boring. There was like not a lot of like attractive hot guys there. It was annoying. <laughs> what were your friends like back at home? They were the best things ever. Like I miss my friends back home so much, but I love my friends even more out here. Really? I, do. I really do. Do you find it hard to make genuine friends out here? I mean, I, um, I feel like... Yeah, it's very difficult. Yeah. Because it's like... It's a lot of people out here who just want to like get to the top. So like, you have to really be careful with those people. But overall, my friends are great. I love all my friends. Like I went through some of the bad friends and I dropped them to the curb. But like <laughs> you know, I kept the good ones. So yeah. there you go. We are going shopping. I can't believe we're going shopping. I can't believe we're going shopping. I can't believe we're going shopping. I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> oh my god. What inspires your fashion? Anything different. Anybody who looks at me and says, what are you wearing? That's my fashion. Ricky, I feel like you're a good singer. I took six years of voice training. You did not! Yeah, I did. I took six years of voice training. Six years of voice training? Yeah, because I had to. I was in musical theater all my life. What? I had to do it, so yeah. When I did, like, through my talent, like, we had, like, a theater and everything. Like, nothing Broadway, like, on New York and stuff. So yeah. I was, like, not prepared to go yet. 
But um, I did uh, um, Les Mis. What? I, did that. I was there. Shut. Yeah, I was. No, oh, you. I got an Yes, I did. No, you did. Yes, I did. When we first started getting New Balances. I was like, bro. <laughs> I was in high school. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years? Where do I see myself in five years? Well. I see myself being a successful actor. So you want to pursue acting? Yeah, like that is my biggest dream, like to become an actor, and that's definitely like my biggest goal. So in five years, I hope to be able to have booked a movie, already booked a show. Woo! So I hopefully, hopefully, hopefully a movie, and yeah, hopefully it's like a big movie that like does really well. So I become like an A-lister, you know? <laughs> I like become friends with the Kardashians. There you go. Do you ever feel like, okay, so obviously I feel, I mean, do you feel like your success was like overnight? Or, I mean, I, I mean, was it like a gradual thing or? Um, well, okay, when I started making vines, I didn't tell anybody. Like, nobody knew. So I was just like, you know, like slowly gaining, but I made one vine that did really good. It went like, it got, it went viral. What was it about? Um, it was like... Uh, it's so disgusting, but I had a knife in my hand, and I was like, the caption was like, when you hear somebody talking shit about you. You talking shit? Oh, you not? Okay. Just make it short. <laughs> I've been very ghetto. Yeah. I why it was so funny, but people loved it, and like, who tweeted it? Uh, Kia Mia tweeted it, then like, Kylie Jenner saw it, then she retweeted it, so it just, it just got bigger, and so then, ever since then, like, people like, oh my god, it's hilarious, so. <laughs> Was it overwhelming at first? Oh my gosh, yes, it was so overwhelming. I was like a junior in high school. What did like people at school think? Well, everybody was like jealous of me. Really? They were like, oh my god, like, how did this happen to you and everything? Because I was such a quiet kid in school. You were quiet at yeah, school? I was so quiet. How was that even a thing? I was quiet. I was shy. Like, I was so shy. I didn't speak a lot or anything, so I just kept to myself and People were like, oh my god, he's hilarious. So yeah, that's what happened. So obviously your parents found out. Like, when did you tell your parents, like, mom, dad, whoa, I'm kind of big on Vine. Like, this is kind of becoming, like, a serious thing. Like, what was their, like, initial reaction to that? Um, at first, they did not support it at all. Like, they did not because, um, a little fact, like, you didn't know this, but, um, when I was doing, like, vinyl type of stuff, my grades fell so bad. Really? Like, they fell way down because I was just so focused on, like, building up myself. Right. And they didn't understand why, and then I told them, I was like, look, like, I'm kind of, like, relevant online. Yeah. And um, they were like, no, 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 we don't believe in this. Like, you need to, like, stay with school. Yeah. But, like, I ignored them. And I was like, hey, I'm going to do me. Because I'm like, hey, I'm at a senior at this point. So I'm like, I'm a senior. So I'm like, I'm going to do what I want. Do you ever see yourself going to college? Um, I do, but just, like, not right now. Like, not right now. I feel like right now is not, like, a good time for me to go to college. Because I am so busy. So I just feel like not right now. But maybe in the future I'll go to college. You know? Yeah. Back at Ricky's place. We are back. We are back nothing. Ricky? Yeah. You know what I've noticed about you? What? Is that you're always A smiling, B always happy. What's your key to key to happiness? Like how are you always happy? Why am I always happy? No, how? How? Yeah. I feel like you're always happy and it like makes me happy. Well, um I think I'm always happy. I just think about positive things, like I'm just so happy with my life. I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. It just makes me really happy. That just that just makes me smile that I'm actually like able uh, uh, to have a life <laughs> that I do. So. What makes you like sad? Like, what's one thing that will like just take you off or just make you really sad? What makes me sad? Um, I will say like what makes me sad is I'm not able to see my mom. 20%. Really? Yeah. Like, I miss her so much that me and my mom are the best of friends. So. Really? I really want to meet her. Oh my god, you will. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that really makes me sad because I wish she was here with me. But, um, yeah. How I, often How often do you talk to her? Every day. Every day? Every day. Have you called her today? Yes, I did. I called her this morning. I was like, good morning. She's like, good morning, son. And we had a quick little conversation about life, and then she, like, told me, like, you know, like, you are a star, and mommy loves you, and I love you too, and then... Yeah, I love her and I miss her so much. What about your dad? My dad, oh my god, I love my dad. Um, me and my dad were not on the best of terms 
earlier and like uh, how was this like maybe like over the summer because I came out. Okay. And he's the type of person who doesn't agree with like gay marriage or all that type of stuff. But when I recently went back home, like I didn't tell my parents I was coming home or anything, I just surprised really? them. And he was so happy. Like he was so happy I was there. He didn't treat me like an outcast or anything. And he finally told me, he was like, I accept you and I love you. So it was tough at first when he first came out. Yeah. Definitely like we didn't talk for like what? We might have talked for like two months. Oh my god. And you were still living back at home? No, I was here. I was here and I talked to my mom every day and I talked to my sister every day. But I didn't talk to him because I knew how he felt about it. So I was just like, ugh. Do you regret? Not telling them before? Um... I mean, do you like how you came out? I actually love how I came out because, like... How did you come out? Did you have, did you make a video or...? Yeah, well, no, I made a tweet. No way! I just tweeted, I was like, I'm overhiding it. I like guys. And then people were like, what? And yeah, I was over it and I was not going to tell my parents at all that I did it. But I was gonna wait. Um, but I thought, like, I was like, they can't get the social media. But somebody came into my dad's um, shop because my dad's a barber and somebody said, oh my God, congratulations to your son. And he said, what? And then the guy showed him the tweet and then my dad went home and was like, look at this. And then told my mom and then all the rest of my family knew. So yeah, it did blow up in my face with my family. My family was so upset. They were like, we're happy for you that you came out, but we are just disappointed in you because you did not tell us first. I am more comfortable online because hey, that's what I did. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I might as well come out first online than to my family because I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's just harder to come out to your family than just like subscribers and watchers and everything. Because I mean, they can't judge you. I don't go home to them. I go home to my family. Well, you know what? How about this? What if you didn't even blow up on Vine, mm -hmm. become really successful? Mm -hmm. What do you think you'd be doing right now? I mean, you'd be back home, right? I'll be back home in college. In yeah. college? Yeah, in college. I actually, like, was going to college. Really? So yeah. you applied and stuff? I applied, and I had a roommate and everything. But I, what? Yeah. I like, <laughs> no way. Yeah, I did. I had a room. I met my roommate. Yeah. And I knew exactly what college I was going to go to. And I was getting ready to pack my stuff. And then one day I was like, no, I cannot do this. Love you, Ricky. I love you. <laughs> Thanks for spending the day with me. No problem. It was amazing. Aww. Stop. I'll see. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.